What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles here back with a quick review. Today we've got a six stop ND filter from Gobi. Now this is not a sponsor video, they did not send me this, I purchased it and I wanted to review it, I really enjoyed it, so I thought about making a review for it. So this is my honest review for it, I was not compensated for this. And since this isn't a sponsor video, if you would like to help the channel out, if you would go down and like and subscribe to this channel, it really helps the channel out. I'll link the website down below and also an Amazon affiliate link to this brand. If you purchase this through the affiliate link down below, it helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. But let's crack this thing open. I really love the packaging. It's kind of reminiscent of an old film canister from back in the day. Um, so it's metal, very sturdy. You can throw this in your bag. It's not like a cheaper plastic one that'll get cracked or crunched in a bag. This one, it's very sturdy. Inside, foam protects the ND filter. This is a static six-stop ND filter. It's not a variable ND filter. That's a totally different ballgame. Static ND filters are just darkened glass that you put over your lens and makes everything six stops darker. But a variable ND filter is two polarizers that work either to get together or opposite each other depending how you rotate them and those you really have to get really good ones to make them work. If you get cheaper ones you get these big Xing or corners can start going out where one corner of it is darker than the other ones and banding across it. It's just, it's harder to get a good one, but static ND filters, you can get much cheaper, much better ones. And I really like Gobi as a brand. It is a for-profit company, but proceeds of every single sale goes to planting trees around the world. Every single purchase you get, they give you a little card, you enter it in, and they will plant five trees around the world. There's some in Southeast Asia, some, some in Central America, some I think in Madagascar. You can go on their website down below and see all the places they're planting trees, which I think is awesome for a for-profit company. It's not a non-profit, they just really care about the environment and giving back with the proceeds they make from every sale. So I think that's just a really cool thing to do. So they make all kinds of filters and also some adapters between lens systems. They make the ND filters, the UV filters, and the polarizing filters. A bunch of them, they come in sets. I just wanted a single 77 millimeter six stop ND filter. It's great. It's great that the 75, it's great that the 77 millimeter will fit on my wide angle lens and also my telephoto lens. But if you, but if your, all your lenses are different diameter ends, you can get step down, you can get some step down rings if your lenses are all different sizes and then just buy the ND filters for whichever lens is largest and some cheaper step-down rings. I really like this. It's a... But for the price, I think this is an amazing ND filter. I'll show some video compare. So Gobi's lines, they have a single peak, dual peak, and triple peak. That's kind of their three levels of quality in their lens in their their three quality levels their single peak double peak and triple peak are just what they named them this is the single peak it's a 12 layer nano coating on japanese glass the dual peak which is what this is is 16 layers of nano coating which helps provide uh fingerprint resistance dust resistance and strengthens the glass on japanese optics you see the smudge on there? There, see if I press on there, I get some little smudges. And then I just put it on my shirt. This isn't even a microfiber shirt. This is just a regular cotton shirt. Simple rub, boom, it goes clean almost immediately. Very easy to clean off. There's still a little bit, but I barely even rubbed it. With very little effort, that just cleans right off. Whether it's greasy fingerprints, dust resistance, very strong. I used it out a couple days and there's not a single scratch on it. The dust comes right off. But I think the proof is when you take it out and really start using it. So let's get out there and really use this out. What's up? So now we're outside and I wanted to show a quick demonstration of the differences between with an ND filter and without. So this is shot at my pretty normal vlogging settings, 1 over 50 seconds, and then ISO is kind of auto, but trying to keep it as low as possible. And so this is kind of evening. It's dusk. It's not full bright sun outside. The sun is about to set in the distance. So these are reasonably good conditions. And so I wanted to get a nice 
time lapse of the clouds because the clouds are looking really good right now. One tip I think for a great time lapse is to do a slow shutter speed. It really makes the clouds look very fluid as they're flowing across the sky. Somewhere around two seconds is what I try to, try to strive for. But here's an example of a test shot at two second shutter speed, lowest ISO I can get, and narrowest aperture this lens can go to. That, the sky is all washed out. It'd be fine if I was shooting the ground, but I'm trying to shoot the sky, getting the clouds flowing by. But with this ND filter, this is what you can do. And that looks way better. It allows you to get time lapses like this. Sorry for the noise, the AC event is on outside, and so that's just kind of what it is. But here's a quick example of that time lapse. So overall, I was pretty impressed with Gobi and their ND filters. This six stop filter really worked well for the price. With this one, I didn't get very much. I got minimal vignetting, if at all, and the darkness was very even and smooth across the entire setting. It unlocks slow motion time lapses. There's so much that an ND filter allows for outdoor daylight shooting. If you shoot at night or shoot a lot of indoor studio type settings where you're artificially lighting it anyways, that's probably not something you need. You don't really need this. If you shoot outdoors, it might be a really great help to you. It might be a really great help to you to have an ND filter, and I would highly recommend using the static ones over using a variable ND filter, unless you're buying a more expensive one. For the same price, you're just gonna get a lot higher quality of static ND filters than a variable ND filter. I know it sounds better to have a variable where you can change it for each setting, but I would personally rather just change my aperture or adjust the exposure triangle a little bit with a static one than getting a couple extra out of my ND filter and it really not being as good of quality as you can get out of a solid one. And overall, really like Gobi as a company, just what they're doing out there with planting trees and giving back, even though it's not a nonprofit company, they're doing some great things out there. Highly recommend them. Check them out down below. And if you like this review, while you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Go Toaster out.